I was living on Martha's Vineyard and I was making day trips to Boston and day trips to New York to decide where am I going to live. First club I go to in Boston is the Rat. Took care of that, didn't it? I walk in on La Peste playing and I went, whoa, this is, I could tell this is a cool club. And I saw people there. The next night I went out to a different club and I saw similar people, like the same people in a different club. I realized immediately Boston is a place, it, there's community here. Yeah. There was this feeling of a music scene immediately that said, this is where I want to come to. When I went to New York, I just didn't get the feel of the community. Every club I went to was like a different world, different world, different world. This place really, and the rat was the center of it. Uh, do you have a couple of rat stories that come to mind about some of the people with personalities? Mitch, the doorman. I was lucky enough to uh, want to make t-shirts at one point and found myself in the position of a, trying or being frightened to death to ask Mitch, is it okay if I make t-shirts of you? Now for people who may not have known or remember in detail Mitch, describe Mitch now. Mitch was a tall man, always had a suit on, he had this gray hair that looked like it was pumice, the stone. It was always in place, stiff in place. Middle Eastern descent is sort of what he looked like? Yeah, maybe yeah. Greek, yeah. I would guess. Okay. Um, Thai, broad shoulders. The girls loved him. Completely out of place at the rap. Completely out of place. Because he's got the suit on all the time. All the girls loved him because if you look at this guy and go, oh, there was always that question of, is there some kind of mafia tie here? And then the guys all like, feared him in a way, but loved him at the same time. But you could tell, you didn't want to mess around with Mitch. So that's why it was I was a little nervous about approaching Mitch about doing t-shirts of him. Plus the fact that, you know, he had uh, an op operation. Yep. We had uh, cancer of the larynx, I believe. Larynx, yeah, so he had a and voice box, right? He had a voice box, so when he talked to you, it was kind of scary, you know, how he'd approach you. But So I went up to him, I asked him if I could do t-shirts. He was like, Go ahead. I brought 24 t-shirts to the club, went downstairs, sold them within probably about 20 minutes, sold out like that. I went upstairs and I said, Mitch, I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to make money off your image. That's it. I had fun doing the 24 t-shirts. People loved them. He grabbed me, put his arm around me, pulled me outside, held his microphone up here and said, T-Max, I respect your business endeavors. Make more t-shirts. <laughs> and I went, oh, okay. Many, every night that I went back to the rat, I would bring like 24 t-shirts. So they never stopped selling. As long as I brought them down there, they sold. It was the best-selling t-shirt I ever had.